this is a this is a picture of um, a job I did last winter and it was like three degrees above zero I was just recently talking about my testo gauges and I wanted to it was pretty cold that day I was I had to uh, let's see. I had to change this time clock here and it's a new time clock and I had to put some refrigerant in the system. I was getting bubbles in the sight glass because, well, possibly because it was so cold out. But I had, I wanted to put a little bit of gas in the system. I needed some. And this is uh, a my Testo 557s, and it has a 3 8 port on it. But um, I was having a problem with uh, it. The system was so the refrigerant gas was so cold that it was about the same as the refrigerant in the system in the suction line so when the, when the gas is the same pressure as the suction line you're not going to transfer gas into the system so I turned the tank over and I was getting a little bit of liquid going through the gauges into the system into my blue hose here into the suction line and you can see it's going in before this is a suction accumulator the suction gas comes up here and goes into the uh, it goes into the top of the suction accumulator comes out of the top of the suction accumulator and into the compressor. The suction accumulator is a, a tank and if there's any liquid coming back the liquid falls to the bottom of the tank and this gas is taken off the top of the tank into the compressor it protects the compressor from slugging. It's a very good item. But here I have my hose. I hooked up, a, I put a Schrader valve before the suction accumulator so I could put liquid in the system. Uh, rather than putting the liquid into the compressor directly, I can put, I can charge it faster in other words. I can put liquid here and it goes in and it boils off and I get gas into the compressor. But let's see, go to the next uh, Next slide here. No, that's not it. Went the wrong way, I guess. Okay, this is this is just another picture of the <laughs> how lovely it was that day. It's a the sheet metal cover. I put this compressor up on the roof. I put it up on wood blocks, and you can see if I put it flat on the roof. I'd have snow up to here. I always like to lift up the compressors whenever I put them up. The snow is eventually going to turn to slush. I made the metal cover for this and I put the um, it's a disconnect. It's not the plug-in disconnect. It's got an arm on it and I put a um, a plug here you know a weatherproof ground GFI plug on it but uh, this is a knife switch with no fuses in it and it's a waterproof box uh, that's the way I like to put them. This is a, my, a mat that I had at the time. I've used all kinds of mats, car mats, everything that to kneel on it. It helps insulate the knees somewhat when you're kneeling down on it. But let's see. Let me find the. No, that's not it. Either. Okay, this is the. If you see here. The gauges are leaking liquid out of them. There's liquid coming out of the high side post over here. And this is a little short video. I was very cold. I did it fast. But the... I'll, I'll play that again. The... The... Uh, O-rings on the post here are leaking. And it's, I'm putting... I'm losing as much gas right now as I'm putting into the system. Uh, I could have gone down to the truck and gotten a heater and put it on the tank and warm the tank up and get the pressure up in the tank but the but I was too lazy and I was too cold at the point at that moment so I just uh I just uh you know forged my way through it to get done um, it was but it's, the o-rings right here are leaking pretty good These O-rings are leaking pretty good. You, you can't see it very, very good, but over here it's leaking. The liquid's leaking out of the high high side post also. It, and that's one of the reasons I don't want to 
use my gauges for pulling a vacuum uh, because of the o-ring there's o-rings in this uh, sight glass there's o-rings in each one of these there's o the, each one of these posts here they turn back and forth and there's an o-ring in it in here also so there's uh, it's not good to pull a vacuum on it I know these the gauges came through with a, a vacuum uh, a micron gauge on it and that worked like two for two seconds until uh, I hooked up to a, syst a couple systems and I got a little bit of oil in there and the oil you know coated it uh, the sensor and made it inoperable I washed it out a, a number of times and it, it worked a little bit then it just oiled up again it got contaminated with just standard oils and it ruins it so the vacuum gauge in a gauge set is a poor idea. If you're going to buy, if you're going to buy a set of gauges, I, I just went to the simple 550s instead of the 570s. They're just less problems. But um, that's that's the. I'll play this one more time. But you can see, it's my point is, is that I'm losing a lot of liquid. It's it's just so cold that the O-rings were contracted so much. They were just contract tight that liquid was coming up. Okay, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much what I just wanted to point out. I wish I had taken. I only got 11 seconds on this video. I wish I had taken more, but it was just too cold. I wanted to get done. Okay, later, guys.